Hello everyone, this is Juanita de Solista and I am back with another tutorial on doing our Santa uh, dish towels. And so what you're going to first need uh, to do these dish towels is you're going to need two red dish towels. Okay, it doesn't matter if it has some type of design in it like this one have these squares or if it's just a plain red towel, it doesn't really matter. But what you're going to need to do is take that dish towel and fold it in half like I've done this one here and, you know, make sure it's even, you know, on the bottom and the top. Okay, so that's even. And then what's going to happen, and what I like about this dish towel is that the squares I can sort of use as a guide to sew on my, my um, ribbon and my other things that I'm going to be sewing to this. So I'm going to set this to the side for a second. And what else you're going to need is you're going to need some type of fur. Okay? That's going to be for the bottom of the towel. Now, this fur here, you know, it has a nice flat uh, backing. And I purchased this from uh, Hobby Lobby, as a matter of fact. Um, so it's really nice. It comes on a roll. You get so many yards of it, so you'll be able to make plenty of these Santa towels. And I cut this, the... Uh, width of my towel. The width of my towel is approximately 15 inches in width. So I cut about 15 and a half of this, okay? So I'll know that I have enough to go across the towel. I also cut a black piece of cross grain ribbon. You can uh, use the cross grain ribbon or you can use the satin ribbon. However, I think the cross grain ribbon is a little bit uh, stiffer and it looks more to me like a Santa belt okay because that's what we're going to be creating out of this ribbon and once again this is cut at 15 and a half uh, inches to make sure I know I have enough to go across the width of my towel the next thing that you're going to cut or that you need is you need some silver ribbon this is going to be used to create the buckle on uh, Santa's belt and these strips are cut three and a half inches long okay um, the width of this is approximately, uh, I want to say, 7 eighths wide of ribbon. Okay, it can be a little smaller, but this is a very, very good size for what we're doing. So you need four of these strips cut. I cut four of these strips, as you see here, half four. Okay, and that's going to be able to, like I say, create this buckle on Santa's belt. Okay, so I'm going to sit these to the side as well. Put these under here. So I don't know where they are. So now, uh, prior to uh, coming on to this video, I kind of marked the place where I wanted to sew Santa's belt. And it has a light yellow marking here that I can see. And of course, there's already a line there on my towel. So that's where I'm going to begin to sew the top of Santa's belt. Okay? So you're basically going to take this black piece of fabric and I don't know if you notice but I'm gonna let you know I have black thread threaded in my machine my bobbin is red you may see a little purple there but um, I just grabbed the bobbin and put some red thread on it why because the bobbin thread is going to be on the back of the towel red and the black thread is going to be on the black ribbon here that's creating Santa's belt so I wanted the threads to match you're going to let the ribbon hang over about an eighth of an inch off the edge of the, um, the towel. Uh, and that's because we're going to go back and we're going to sew that down in a second. But for right now, I'm putting that right over that. I'm putting that right over the line there. Let me make sure I have this right. I believe this is right. Because this is going to fold back over. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and sew a stitch very close to the edge of the uh, black ribbon. So let me start. I'm going to do a little back stitch. And I want to just keep this straight right above the top of that line there. So I know that I'm sewing straight. Okay. And like I said, I'm just sewing. You can pin this down if you like, if you feel comfortable. You don't think you're going to make a straight enough stitch. But I think I got my lines all lined up pretty straight. So 
I should not have a problem. Okay. Okay, and now what you're going to do is raise your presser foot and go ahead and cut that thread. And as you can see, where I sewed on the back, you don't see the red stitch. You don't see the stitching because it matches the red towel. And then of course, on the uh, top, we have the black stitching. So you don't see that. I mean, you see the stitching, but it matches. So you don't have mismatched threads or anything like that. I'm losing my other stuff here, so let me pick it up. I think I'm one short of my silver. I have to have my daughter to come over and grab me some more of that silver before I get to it. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut that extra off of there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the towel and I'm gonna go ahead and sew the other side down, starting at this edge. And this should be pretty easy now because the other side is already sewn down. Okay, so that's like so. Now, what you wanna do here is this little piece that's hanging over. See that little piece that's hanging over? We're going to go ahead and just cut that off. And if you have some pink and shears, you can cut it with the pink and shears so that it doesn't fray. Or if you have a lighter, you can go ahead and burn this ribbon right there. Then you're going to uh, do this side as well. Okay, but I'm not going to worry about it fraying or anything. But, like I say, if you're worried about it fraying, go ahead and use a little lighter and go over it lightly or go ahead and cut that with your pink and shears. I'm going to just run a zigzag stitch right across the edge of this. So I'm just setting my machine at a zigzag stitch and then I'm just going to go over just like that. Okay? So there's three ways, you know, for you to do that raw edge of that ribbon. Like I said, you can burn it, you can cut it with pink and shears, or you can do just what I did here. And I just ran a zigzag stitch, okay? Really simple, really easy. And you want to do that on both sides. Okay? And remember, you're keeping your um, black and red, black thread and red bobbin in at this point. Okay. So I shouldn't have much fraying of that now that I've sewn that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sew on and create the buckle with that silver ribbon that we cut the three what was it three and a half inches we cut four okay so you're going to kind of just lay this here we're going to find the center so now we're going to fold the towel this way lengthwise the longest okay and we're going to find the center find the center of the towel so this is the center of the towel and i'm going to go ahead and stick a pin right here in the center okay like so alrighty now what we're going to do is put this back under here and then we want to take one strip of the silver remember this is three and a half inches and we're going to place that in the center so find the center of that ribbon there you kind of pinch it okay get a little fold there and then place that here Okay. Now, you can either keep the black thread in to sew this, or you can change your top thread. You can leave your bobbin thread red because everything we're sewing, we're sewing on the front of the towel, so the bobbin thread is going to be red. So what I would like to do at this point is go ahead and thread my machine with white because that white is not going to show up on that uh, silver as much. And then when I get ready to sew the fur on, I already have the machine threaded with white. So I'm just gonna change the top thread really quick. Go 
there we go. Now we have white thread here. And let's go back to our center. And what I'm going to do is sew this piece of silver down. I want to sew it right close here. I think that'll do it. I'm just going to run a stitch. Whoops, I left my machine on the zigzag, so let me get that straight stitch going here. Move this over some. Okay, here we go. Make sure to back stitch. And then just come right across. And I got it right on the edge, you guys, just barely covering the black. And I always like to do a back stitch to make sure this is not going to come off or move or anything. And cut your little threads away here. This is about the hardest part. I won't even say hard, but I'll say this is about the um, only little tedious part. Maybe that's what I'll, I'll say. Okay. Now I'm turning this. And I didn't cut the bobbin thread. I'll cut all that thread later. But I take another piece and I put it here at the top. Okay. Lining it up with the first piece. Okay. So they look about even. And then I'm going to sew this down. Okay. So I'm just sewing on all four of those three and a half inch pieces to create a buckle. Okay. And like I said, I'm not cutting any bobbin thread right now because I'm just trying to get this all on here. Now we're going to overlap this piece here. And it should line right up. You may have a little bit hanging here off the edge. So if you want to, you can just go ahead and cut a little sliver of that away because you want your buckle to, to uh, all the edges to match. Okay, so I'm, I'm uh, lining it up with this edge and I'm lining it up with the top and with the bottom. You can see that. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick a little pin in here so that can kind of stay in place. Okay, I'll move that when I get there. But now what I'm going to do is just go right on the edge of this. Just a tiny little backspace. Now that I have that in place, I can take the pin and remove it. And then go ahead and sew down and backspace there. Okay? Now we're not going to worry about sewing down the inside of this just yet. We want to get this other little buckle thingy on over here okay so we're going to grab that because once we know we've matched up everything and this is hanging over just a little bit here so i'm going to cut a little bit more of that off okay and remember you're lining this edge up with the end of the buckle that's over here and we're going to just sew this down. Make sure to backspace, but don't come all the way off of the ribbon because you don't want that white thread to show on your red. Okay? So now that we got all of that on there, now what we can do, I'm going to take a real quick look at my other one. Okay? What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sew these two sides down. Just come all the way up. And sew that down. Okay. And then you're going to do the other side the same way. Sew that down. Make sure to backspace. And now what's left to do is just go across the top and the bottom of the buckle. So I'm sewing down the bottom of the buckle right here. I'm back facing you guys, or back stitching rather. Okay. I'll just get that buckle down. And then you come here and you do this side, and that should do it for the buckle. So now we have the buckle on. It's all in place. You see that? All right. 
Now we can come to the back of it and we're going to remove all the stitching that I didn't cut prior. Okay, get all that off of there so it's not looking ugly or stringy or whatever you want to call it. Just kind of clip those all off. Now some of the white did bleed through the red, but it's okay because once you fold this towel in half, you're not going to even see any of that stuff. Okay? So I got all of those cut. Alrighty, so there's, oh, well, there's one more piece. Okay, so that's all cut, and it looks nice and neat. Now this little tag here, if you have one on your towel, you can cut that away. Okay? Let's get that out the way. Now what you want to do is the bottom of the towel. You want to sew your fur on. Remember, keep your bobbin red. And we have the white up there because our fur is white, right? And we're going to just sew this on. And we're not going to sew the bottom of the fur and the top up here of the edge of the fur. We're just going to sew right down the center with a large zigzag stitch. That's all you need. And then you want your... Um, to hang over a little bit okay let it hang over just a little bit maybe about not even a quarter of an inch but between an eighth and a quarter just let it hang off of there some and line it up right at the edge like we did the uh, black ribbon and I'm gonna switch this to zigzag I forgot about that and you don't have to worry you're not going to see that zigzag stitch because you're sewing through fur, okay, and just go ahead and go right across the middle here, okay, remember I got a little hanging over, okay, and then what we're going to do, I guess you do kind of see the zigzag stitch, but you got to take your fur. The other one I did with a straight stitch, so I'm going to tell you guys not to do the zigzag stitch. To go ahead and do, go ahead and do a straight stitch. So now, because I don't want that to lift like that, I am going to do one more stitch right here at the top, but it's going to be a straight stitch. So. I, my preference at this point, after seeing that zigzag stitch through the fur, depending on how much fur you're using, go ahead and use a straight stitch, okay? And you're just going that right across and sewing that down. And then what you want to do is do it just like the edges, just like you did your uh, black ribbon. Go ahead and do a zigzag stitch right here on the edge. So that, that doesn't lift up. And it kind of looks neat. Make sure you cut your thread. Don't leave all these threads hanging all over the place. Okay, make sure I cut my thread. And then you're going to come over here. You're going to zigzag this as well. As a matter of fact, I'm going to cut some of this off because it's a little bit hanging over a little bit too much on that one edge. Okay. Then I'm going to do my zigzag. So, there we go. So, guess what, you guys? We just completed our Santa towel. You see? I know it's hard to see right there, but because I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and move my machine out of the way, and I'm going to fold this towel and see if I can put it down just a tad bit. You guys can see this. Okay, so now we're just going to take our Santa towel, and you're going to lay it face down. And you're going to fold to the center that side and you're going to fold this side to the center and just make sure you got enough folded on each side okay and then you're going to fold it over here where 
it meets the bottom. Let me bring that out there. So it's folded. And then when you flip it over, there's your nice little Santa towel. Now, if the belt doesn't look centered, then you're going to just fold again, okay? And that doesn't look centered to me, so I'm going to move this over some. Here we go. Okay. That should do it. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And I've done one previously. So this is the other one. So you can make a set. Maybe we can even make a Mr. and Mrs. Santa. Right? Okay. So you can hang those towels in your kitchen as decor for the holidays. And this is what is called your Santa dish towels. Guess what? You can even make these uh, to go in your bathroom and use bath towels. Of course, you would need more fur and more ribbon uh, to make the belt. But you can make these on larger towels as well. These ones I'm going to give away as a Christmas gift. Alrighty, so this is Juanita the Sonista. Thank you so much for joining me on this Handmade for the Holidays project. And I hope you join me for my next video. Uh, and the way you can do that is go ahead and subscribe and click the little bell so that you can get notifications when I upload a new video. As well, make sure to leave a comment if you like this video and click on the like. Until next time, this is Juanita the Sonista. You guys make it a great day. Bye-bye.